Hello everyone, Daniel here. Uh, we're going to do a bit more arts and crafts today and let's jump right in. Okay, so today what we'll need is some popsicle sticks like this, okay? And the popsicle sticks will help us make some decorations. Christmas decorations, okay? So they're quite easy, cheap and fun to make. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get three, okay? One, two, three. And all three are going to join together with a bit of glue. So basically, we make a triangle with the popsicle sticks. Okay? Like that. Nice and simple. Now, the way they all stay down is using a bit of PVA glue. And it's quite simple to do. You just take your time, use a small paintbrush, and glue underneath each side of the popsicle stick. Each very, very end, okay? Glue the three ends. Then we glue them on top of each other like such. Push them down. And the important part to do is not to lift it off, just use a page underneath your work, take it aside, and you're done with that until it dries, okay? So when it dries, it should look like this, okay? And we are ready to decorate. Now, the lovely thing about this is, as, as I always say, there are no mistakes. You can decorate this any way you want, okay? Using all the skills that you've learned so far from all of our sessions. And I'm gonna choose green, because it's the pretty obvious choice for my Christmas tree, okay? And I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna paint each side nice and carefully. Taking my time, giving it a good layer. One coat probably won't be enough, so you've just got to layer it and layer it until it looks like it's covered in green. Okay? Covered in green. I'm rushing mine just to show you how to do it, but you've got lots of time, like I always say. These will look absolutely lovely when they're all finished. Okay, so you quite simply, you've colored it green to begin with, all right? Now, this part's really up to you. You can decide, I'd like to keep it as it is and hang some wire from it, okay? Or you can decide to decorate it on a page, a nice clean page, stick it down, and you can start putting in the details of a Christmas tree. All right? So you can decide to stick it or hang it, all right? But either way, you're still gonna to have to decorate this lovely triangle bit that we've made, all right? And to do that, you can use all the skills we've learned so far. So, glitter always works perfect when you're doing the baubles of a Christmas tree like this, I'm taking my time because there's not a, a lot of glitter in these little sticks, okay? There's only a little bit. So try not to squeeze it all out. Try and take your time and squeeze it nice and gently. So that's a little example of what you can do. Okay, you can do this any way you want. I'm just giving you some examples, all right? Now, what I also like to use is these little wooden circles. I've used them quite a bit, but they're great. But if you don't have them, circles on paper work just as, just as good. So to glue them, you use your PVA. You can glue the back of it or glue the area you'd like it to go, all right? Take your time. It's 
Like, come on. Mm, I guess if I got one, I'm gonna stick them here. Again, you can always make a mistake because that's all right in art. Everybody makes mistakes. Okay? So I've decided that's great for that. What I could also do is paint these now. Okay, so again, our paintbrush. Oh, and I always find red works really well as, as a Christmas color, along with green, obviously, because that's the color of our tree. But red and green somehow just says Christmas. You'll find that it slides about just a little bit, but that's because you're using glue that's wet and paint. So that's going to happen. All you have to do is use your fingers. Okay. All right, and one more. Now, the nice thing about that is put your paint aside is you can get a different colored gel, gel pen or marker or paint and you can go over the top and it really stands out. Okay? Now, another trick I haven't showed you so far is that when you want a really, really tiny dot of paint, you can use these little cocktail sticks, okay? Be careful with the edges or get adult supervision. And you can do little dots inside your bigger dots. Now, this is being extremely detailed, but when you do these little things, it really sets it apart and really shows that you've given it a, a lot of effort and hard work. Dipping each time, taking my time. There we go. Okay. So I've drawn a little bark here. And if you're going to stick it to the page and not hang it, that's great. You can even decorate the inside of the shape. Doesn't just have to be the edges. You can draw a bark. You can also use the little sticks to give that another layer. If you don't have sticks, brown paper or brown card works just as good. Okay, paint those brown as well. It's a bit tricky this one. There we go. Do the same with the other one. Oh, you really have to concentrate for that one. Okay. And then I'm going to get my green, go on the inside. I'm just showing you this for an example of what you can do. Okay, so just take your time. Oh. If you were doing this part, 
like this, you would glue your artwork down first, your popsicle sticks. You would glue them down first and then do that part. But don't glue them if you're going to hang it up, okay? So then on the inside of that, I can decorate this how I like. And basically, it's just continuing on the theme of the Christmas tree. Okay? What's also nice is at the bottom, give it a little bucket. So you just do that by cutting out a nice rectangle. And you can decorate it with some presents. And this could be a lovely card or it could be a poster. Really up to you. Just decorate some little presents. I'm just doing mine really quickly. You decorate them, you just draw a little bow. And again, you can write Merry Christmas. You can do it nice and carefully. And that is either your card or poster or your hanging Christmas tree. Okay? So just like that, we can also do a snowflake. Okay, set that to the side. And your snowflake is really simply done by first of all, getting your PVA glue, here it is, and gluing the center, okay? Glue the center of your popsicle stick. And put that on top. Second one on top. And then we glue the center again. Okay. And we stick one diagonal that way. Okay. So first of all, stick one straight, one across, one diagonal. Glue again. Nice bit of glue. And diagonal on this side. Okay, so adult supervision might be necessary, so we can get the finished piece. Put that aside to dry. And then you have your ice popsicle. Your, your, your snowflake, <laughs> it's a snowflake. Okay, so next job is to, just like the Christmas tree, we're going to decorate this as well. So, we get our paintbrush, and I always think the obvious choice is blue, but you can do yours any color at all. But I'm gonna use blue, okay? And again, you can stick this to your paper or you can hang it as you did with the Christmas tree. It's really up to you. I will show you how to hang this one so that you know how to hang it as well. Okay. Okay, so you can do that front and back. So wait for this side to dry, then do the back, and then you're ready to decorate again, okay, on top. I'm gonna set that there. Again, the, the gel pens are great for adding texture and color straight away. These are great. Also, if you have glitter, silver glitter, you could sprinkle that on top and that would be really effective. I'm using the gel pens today but if you have access to that kind of material, that would be, that's great too. OK. 
okay? I also like my collage bits that we've used before. So lay them out in front of you and then you can do nice colors on your snowflake as well. So it's a nice bright snowflake. Remember, you can take your time. Okay, and then, remember if we're being fancy, we can do our dots and really show off our skills that we've learned so far now. Because these are things you can use in everything, really. Nice, simple skills. Okay. I also quite like my little co cocktail stick. And I think I'll go for yellow. And do that on the inside. You can also do your own, your own little uh, designs. Your own little designs on the inside of your snowflake. It's really up to you. This is, this is the fun part of art. not just what I say, it's what you say, because you're the artist. Okay? So, what I would normally do is wait for that to dry, okay, wait for it to dry, and then turn it round and I would get the uh, masking tape or the double-sided sticky tape. Or even ju uh, gel. Little gel balls are quite good as well. Stick that on the back. Okay. And then I can get some wire. Now what also works really well, but it's a bit harder to get, is mask as a fishing gut. And that actually is invisible when you hang it. And it gives a really lovely effect. So I would hang my icicle or snowflake like such. Okay? If you decide not to hang it, you just stick it down on your page. And you can write your Christmas message. Move this to the side. Write your Christmas message. Decorate this. You can decorate it using the collage bits, because now you know how to collage. And make it look as fancy as you want. All right, so that's our Christmas tree and our popsicle snowflake finished. And thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Thanks everyone.